Tony Award-winning revival of Pippin has released its official cast album, and if you're anything like us, this album is going to be on heavy rotation on your iPod. We're here at Barnes & Noble on the Upper East Side to talk to Patina Miller, Matthew James Thomas, and the cast of Pippin at their first ever CD signing. rocking out to this music in their cars, you know, what, it, what does it feel like? They're going to be singing along with you. Oh my God, it feels so great. I mean, we've all like, we've been having such a great time. You know, it's been a very, very, uh, this year's been very good to Pippin. You know, we've all been enjoying ourselves so much. And to go in and do an album and be really proud of it. And now everyone can get their own copy. So it's pretty nice. It's kind of cool. It's always cool to know that anybody is singing along with you and, and um, that you're a part of that and that your voice is always going to be I mean, it's a little scary when you're recording it, thinking this is going to stay forever, you know, this is the one take that's going to stay. Um, and it's, but, but it's great, and hopefully the take is a good one. <laughs> the album has, has, I mean, it tells the same story, obviously, but it's been structured to be a complete listening experience, so you don't have to watch the action in order to get what's going on. So a certain tempo changes have been made, and little orchestrational, orchestration fills. Um, it, it's kind of exciting. It's a whole new creative experience when we were recording it. I kind of come from a recording background and recording you know, more pop stuff and when I got back into that space after being in the theatre for so long I was like whoa oh okay I don't have to work so hard and this is nice and I can do other things with it. I just wing it. I, I literally don't know and truthfully I, I'm just doing my, I'm probably doing everything wrong and I just do all the choreography and I do it all with it and I probably should just stay calm and sing, and I don't know how to do that. So, <laughs> so what was your favorite song to record? I really loved uh, doing "Kind of Woman" because a lot of the jokes are are visual, and so it was fun to try to just get them, sneak them in vocally. It was fun. I'm here every day, customary kind of woman, practical as salt. What song would you recommend people work out to on this album? What's the workout song? Um, I guess Simple Joys, yeah. probably, I would think, because that has a, just a, that's my daughter's favorite song, my little daughter over here. Oh, She's yeah. learned how to play it on the piano. It's so cute. I would probably listen to Glory. I know I keep saying that, but it's like got that like really kind of like forceful energy. and It's like crazy and interesting. Simple Joys. I love that song. It's really fun, it just makes you want to dance. What do you think is the best song to make out to? Oh my goodness, um, I guess Love Song is the obvious answer. Um, you would say that? Yeah. There you go. So that's her answer, not mine. <laughs> well, Love Song. Yeah. Right, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? <laughs> love Song. La 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 la. Private little jokes and silly pants. have fans surrounding you right now. What is that like to be able to interact with them like this? I mean, that's cool. I mean, you know, luckily we get to interact with them every night after the show as well. It's a very interactive show throughout Pippin because you can go into the audience and you can check in with people. But the fact that people have taken time out of their busy schedules to come here on the Upper East Side at the Barnes & Nobles, you know, at like 4 o'clock is really cool. And I'm really excited to go in and, and sing the numbers as Patina. Sweet summer is a hot wine and bread.